conquer these five financial goals and you'll be well on your way to own your own lifestyle. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. There is more than one way to understand personal finance. So by the end of this video, we hope to give you five tips that will send you on your way. Goal number one. The first thing you have to do is set a budget. In order for you to know exactly where you're going, you have to know where you are. And a budget is going to be the thing that helps you understand exactly where your money is going in order for you to plan for whatever things that you want to accomplish. Now, a lot of people have issues with budgeting. It's the same thing with dieting. We hate dieting, we hate budgeting, but it is a must if you want to get ahead financially because you have to control your money and control the placement of it as opposed to your money controlling you. Right. And that's what happens when you don't have a plan for your money. So instead of thinking as a budget as a restrictive mechanism, you need to think of it as a production mechanism so that you can be strategic and plan effectively for the things that you want in life. Mm -hmm. And that leads us to goal number two. From your budget, you're going to create a savings goal, which means you're going to pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what we do when we get paid, we pay all the bills, or all, all the people that we owe money to. It'd be the credit card company, it'd be the mortgage. We pay all these things before we even decide to save money. We should use our budget and set ourselves up to be paid first. And the best part of paying yourself first is it allows you to create the financial freedom and liberation that you deserve. Because now that you have the plan in place and you are paying yourself effectively for your efforts, that leaves you more and more money at the end of the month and at the end of the year for you to do the things that you want to do in life. Yes, you'll have a guaranteed savings. Goal number three is pay off all of your consumer debt. In previous videos, we have talked about the difference between good debt and bad debt. So we need to make sure that you are wiping that bad debt so that you can get ahead financially and that you no longer owe the bank's principal and interest. You're paying that back to yourself. And the key to this is having disposable income so that you can more aggressively pay off bad debt. And this starts with paying yourself first. And having the plan. Maybe you're already working on some of these goals. Comment below with where you are in the process and what you have achieved thus far. And goal number four is to keep your money in an environment that keeps up with inflation. And unfortunately, a bank savings account just isn't gonna cut it. So we recommend that you put your money inside a dividend paying whole life insurance so that you can at minimum earn a guaranteed 4% compounded interest rate on your deposits. And the reason why you wanna put it inside of a dividend paying whole life insurance policy is because this is what the banks do with their disposable income. Banks are the largest purchasers of whole life insurance policy, which means they have the most cash value in whole life insurance policy in the entire world. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting your money in the bank, which they then take your money and put it in whole life insurance, why don't you skip the bank and put your money into whole life insurance policies so that you can at least keep up with inflation the same ways the bank does. Mm -hmm. And again, keep in mind, we are not talking about investing. This is just banking. So the storage facility in which you put your deposits and you should be putting your money in an environment that is keeping up with inflation. And for more information on whole life insurance policies, click the link above that goes over seven things that you need to know before you buy a whole life insurance policy. And goal number five, you want to take some time to research assets. Assets put money into your pocket. And remember, liabilities take money out of your pocket. So it's really important that you take the time to do the due diligence and understand what are the assets that you need to invest in that will create cash flow. Mm -hmm. Because in order to be successful in the money game, you have to generate cash flow. Now that you have an idea on how to get started in your wealth journey, we have a gift for you. We actually want to gift you with the very first module to our online course, The Money Blueprint. So The Money Blueprint is a financial mastery course that allows you to develop your millionaire mindset, manage your money, understand the debt system and the banking system, and also the infinite banking concept. Because it's all about control, cash flow, and understanding how to play the money game. So that's why we want to gift you with the very first module to the money blueprint also if you want to join a community of like-minded high achievers just like yourself 
We have a patient in our community where we teach you about infinite banking and how to apply it in your lifestyle at your own scale. Infinite banking can be a tricky space and we wanted to help you navigate it. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also share this information with your family and friends so they can get ahead financially too. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.